Centennial Sports Center will be going over an NFL game preview and prediction in the 2021 divisional round matchup between the Packers and the Rams, two teams that are competing for a spot in the NFC Championship game. And this should make for a very intriguing matchup here. Of course, you got the Packers on one side who's 13-3, and three, and they're just as good as anybody right now in the entire league. And as for the Rams, this Rams team is beat up, but they're 10-6 and six right now, and they're coming off of a big win against the Seahawks in the wild card round. Definitely the Rams, I think, are a team that could be a big dark horse team moving forward in this playoffs. But that being said, we're going to be going over a full game preview and prediction on this matchup here today, starting out with your team trends. As for Green Bay, they actually had the first round bye for the wild card, of course, since they're the one seed in the NFC, but they beat Chicago in week 17, 35 to 61 was the final score there. Packers down the stretch have been playing outstanding. I mean, their last two games that they've played, they absolutely destroyed Tennessee on December 27th, 40 to 14, and then they beat Chicago 35 to 16 and finished out the regular season. So the Packers are playing very well right now, but as for the Rams, they beat the Seahawks 30 to 20. Um, in a, I mean, that was a huge game for the Rams there. I mean, Jared Goff, of course, came into the game um, after Wolford was injured. So that was going to be uh, kind of interesting to see how the Rams were going to fare out after that. But they still got the win 30 to 20. Winning streaks both these teams. Green Bay is the number one seed in the NFC right now, 13 and 3. Six game winning streak. And then for Los Angeles, they're the sixth seed, 10 and 6 record with a two game winning streak. Game is going to be on Saturday, January 16th, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time in Green Bay. So the Packers will be the home team here. And based off of the weather right now, it looks like it's going to be snowing. Like there's a chance that it will be snowing. So, And we all know how it happened when it was snowing in Lambeau uh, when the Packers played the Titans. So if that's the case, this could be a challenging game for the Rams here. But I definitely think the Packers are still, I mean, whenever it's snowing in Lambeau, the Packers are always at an advantage. Spread currently says Packers by 7. ESPFBI is also going Green Bay, 65%. Vegas prediction also going on the Green Bay side, 34-26, to 26, meaning the current projected final store. Here's our stack comparison for this game. Of course, the backers have got Aaron Rodgers, who I'd probably say he's the MVP of the league right now, as so he's playing just as good as he really ever has. I mean, it's been pretty outstanding seeing what Aaron Rodgers has done this season. I mean, if you consider Aaron Rodgers and his age and everything, I mean, he's starting to get to be an older quarterback, and many people including myself, thought he was past his peak, but he's definitely not right now. I mean, he's playing as good as he ever has. Put up 4,300 yards on the season, 48 touchdowns, and five interceptions. I'll repeat that, 48 touchdowns and only five interceptions. Aaron Rodgers is playing outstanding this season. I'd probably say he's going to win the MVP. As for the running back core, they got Aaron Jones leading it out with 1,400 yards, 11 touchdowns. Devontae Adams leads the receiving core with 1,300 yards, 18 touchdowns. He's had a great season as well. Marquez Valdez-Scantling is the second receiver with 700 yards and six touchdowns. And then Robert Tonyan is the top tight end and the third receiver on this team with 586 yards and 11 touchdowns. As for the Rams side, they got Jared Goff. It looks like he's going to be starting for this game. He put up nearly 4,000 yards on the season with 20 touchdowns and 13 interceptions. So he's got a lot of good yardage for sure. Uh, just his touchdown interception ratio isn't as good as Aaron Rodgers is. But I mean, this running back core on the Rams side is really good. The uh, Cam Akers is playing very well right now, 750 yards. Now they got Daryl Henderson just shortly um, shortly ahead of him. And they got Robert Woods, of course, leading out the receiving core with just around 1,100 yards and eight touchdowns. And then Cooper Cup is not far behind. But hopefully he's able to get me going to play in this game because Cooper Cup before uh, in the Seahawks game did get injured. So Got to keep that in mind for this game, but it's definitely going to be important for the Rams to have Cooper Cup here. Here's our key points for this one. Packers are playing as good as they ever have really this season. I mean, this is a team that's uh, got a ton of momentum right now, and I honestly think the Packers are probably my favorite to win the entire Super Bowl right now, and that's an unbiased prediction. I mean, the Packers are uh, playing as good as they ever really have, and this is a team that I definitely think uh, is capable of winning a Super Bowl. I mean, they've played so well down the stretch. They uh, have dominated most of their opponents, dominated the Titans. We saw that. Uh, we saw them beat up the Bears as well. Had a couple wins over the Panthers and the Lions down the stretch as well. Packers all around have just played outstanding this entire season. And even though they've taken a couple losses over the course of the season, the Packers in general right now are playing uh, just as good as anybody. And I definitely think if, if the Chiefs or the Bills make it to the Super Bowl, the Packers are definitely the most likely team to beat either one of them. But Goff is going to have a huge impact in this game. Um, if Goff is able to play well, I definitely think the Rams have got a good chance here because Really for the Rams, their defense is outstanding. Their defense is going to be just fine here. That's going to be a huge factor for the Rams. It's just a matter of whether or not their offense can play well. If Jared Goff plays well, uh, this Rams team has got a big chance to possibly pull an upset here. But, I mean, once again, if you look back at these injuries here for the Rams, this is a Rams team that is really beat up right now. Really for the Packers, I mean, the Packers do have a couple of bad injuries, including uh, Bakhtiari on the offensive line. they got a couple of defensive players as well that are out right now. 
Um, but as for the Rams, I mean, you got a running back that's out. You got Cooper Cup that's questionable. Aaron Donald is questionable. Uh, you don't really have a backup quarterback right now. So the Rams are a team that is uh, really beat up right now. And if you have the Rams, once again, if this Rams team was healthy completely, I mean, I think the Rams genuinely would have a chance here. But this is going to be a tough one for them considering all the injuries that they're having to face right now. But how each team will win this situation I mean, the Packers always start fast. That's something that the Rams are going to learn in this game. Rams have got to play very well on defense from the start. Like, the first drive, if the Packers get the ball, you got to give them a three and out or something because the Packers are always so good on the first drive, and they're going to drive down the field uh, right on you if you're not able to hold that. So the Rams here got to play very well on the defensive side if they're going to win this game. But as for the Packers, just keep doing what you're doing. And, of course, Aaron Rodgers is playing just as good as he ever has, so got to rely on that as well. But really... I mean, I think the Rams do. I mean, this Rams team does have a chance. Don't get me wrong. I definitely think that Los Angeles could pull a huge upset here. I mean, it, I mean, there's no doubt in my mind that that could happen, but it's just the injuries on the Rams side that are really um, making it questionable right now. That being said, i got to go with the Packers in this game. And I've got – I mean, I went back and forth on this one. I could easily see the Rams possibly pulling an upset. Um, I definitely think the Rams have got a chance to win this one, but the Packers are too good right now. Uh, they've got a ton of momentum. Uh, they're playing just as good as they ever have. And then you got Aaron Rodgers, of course, who's... I mean, Aaron Rodgers is as experienced as anybody right now. And he's playing, once again, as good as he ever has in his entire career. That's why I got to go with the Packers here. 31-20 is going to be my projected final score. Uh, halftime score is going to be 17-7 to on the Green Bay side as well. Probability will be 65% towards Green Bay. So I'm going with the Packers here. Uh, it's just the Rams injuries that are really, uh, really the downside for them right now. I mean, this offensive line's beat up. Uh, this offense in general, I mean, really the defensive side for the Rams have been, has been the huge bright spot for this team this season. It's just the offensive side and, and as to whether or not this offense can play better. Uh, but I just see the Packers winning this game. I think the Packers are the better team. 31-20 to 20 will be your final score. But that being said, there are some of my prediction on this one. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below on this game. Score predictions, all of that, let me know down below. Appreciate you guys all watching. Stay tuned for more from All Sports Central. I'll see you guys all later.